Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today I want to send some respect the way of the Lenovo T420 series. Now, as everybody knows, the Lenovo T series are made to be rugged. You can hammer these things. I've had these things drop downstairs off of toolboxes, and these things can generally take... I'd, I'd be comfortable giving these guys a 7-foot fall as long as it drops close the only thing that's ever really put these things down that's been from dramatic impact has been if a cabinet or something the corner of something catches the monitor on the way to the floor that will break the monitor the rest of the unit will still work once again very rugged nine-year-old girl she's been running awesome running like crazy it's not the fastest unit but it is the most rugged and man this is the kind of thing this is the kind of laptop that you want in a zombie emergency the t series i've also seen used by a lot of people within government work, within, um, geez, I guess I really shouldn't even say, but I'm surprised by how far reaching the T-Series has gone. If you're going to be lugging a computer around all over the place, you want a T-Series, because man, I have had E-Series that just have not lasted a trip to Mexico in the luggage. Sometimes they tell you, you gotta put these things in the luggage, and when that happens, you can have a bad time. The Lenovo E-Series, business cheap uh, falls apart but anyways let's push this thing to its limit nine years old eight gigs of ram 256 ssd and quad core cpu let me just check these things out one sec yeah all right so we got quad core Intel HD graphics 3000 not the best, but once again, I got 8 gigs of RAM in here So maybe that'll help us out once again. I want to test this on some games and 256 gigs RAM Core i5. It's an older generation. What is that second third generation? 252 M CPU, so let's benchmark this sexy lady Oh, of course, with benchmarks, we prefer to run Passmark Benchmark 10. It's very good. Once again, I'm still blown away that this is a nine-year-old system and there are people who still run small SolidWorks assemblies on this. If this thing can run SolidWorks, hey, maybe it can play Grand Theft Auto. But I bet your butt that this thing will play Fortnite and PUBG. Maybe I will have to give those a shot, though. Hang on, ladies. All right, folks, we're ready to go. Let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. Oh, I miss the 80s. Now, one thing I really should get into before we get to the benchmark is the glare, like how it looks. The screen has uh, an acid kind of pattern on it. And right now, I'm recording this with a cell phone. The cell phone light is on, and you might be able to see a bit, yeah, right there, but really, it takes light very nicely, and I've never had any complaints about people saying that uh, light is reflecting off of it. You can see when the cheetah gets big, well, it's not gonna do it now, that it has a bit uh, of an acid stain, or an acid wash on it, I should say, and that hides fingerprints really well. I hear lots of people talk about bezels and they don't like them and whatnot, but I don't get that. This girl has hard and large bezels, but you want to know what? It means if you drop the thing, it's probably going to survive. Another thing all the kids like to talk about is keyboard flex. Well, ladies, this is a T-series. There's really not much flex to be had here. This thing's all rock. All hard, like a rock. I should mention we got three USBs one display, one VGA, one Cat5 LAN cable. We even got a CD player on here, guys. You remember those things? And then, of course, a memory card reader, because why not? All right, we got the planes of flying, 19.62 frames per second. Not bad, but being penalized because we can't run anti-aliasing. Hmm, but still, not bad for a nine-year-old girl with onboard video. Next up, we got the floating rocks, and honestly, I've had uh, I've had new systems be about as slow as this. Systems are not progressing with Moore's Law like they used to. Three frames per second, unable to run at desired. 19 times 20 times 1080, um, unable to run at desired. MSAA of 8x. Okay, I've, that's a new one to me. I've never seen that one before. Penalized by. 2.36 frames. I don't care, this lady's still sexy to me. 
Oh, wow. Okay, that is definitely a really low score. That's got to be one of the top 10 lowest scores of anything I got. Let's check the list. Okay, okay, just to give you an idea, I got a Lenovo 0830 with a Core 2 SSD, 4 gigabytes at Value Village. Um, I think I paid like 15 bucks for that, and it got a mark of 500. So this one definitely is not doing so good. Then again, that was with Pass Mark 9, this is Pass Mark 10. I have previously uh, done these and got a score of 1300 when uh when it was newer when it was newer i don't know what's going on here but uh let's see if this thing can play some gta 5. all right so here's what really messed with it uh couldn't get it to run direct x 11 or direct x 12. pretty sure we need direct x 11 for gta let's find out nope no luck won't play gta well that's not quite as important as the next one. Oh my goodness folks i was wrong I was wrong. This thing is playing Grand Theft Auto. Let's go. Go, go, go. Look how badly, though. Look how badly. I've had new computers do worse, though. I've had new computers do worse. And, of course, I didn't set it up to do the, uh, the frame rate yet. It's responding. I've had new computers not respond this well. They weren't expensive computers. But they were computers. Sold as new. Alright, get over there and get making me some popsicles now. Alright, so I'm getting a maximum of 19 frames per second and a minimum of about 9. I can definitely feel it, but man, if you were a real trooper and you wanted to play this game, you definitely could. Pew, 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 pew. Anyways, as I was saying, let's get on to the main test. Let's get on to the main attraction, the best video game ever. Yes, friends, it plays Doom 2 very nicely, too, I might add. Aw, yeah, ladies, that's the good stuff. Woo, the infighting, mm, just perfect. They've never mastered a game like they've mastered Doom. Mwahaha. <laughs> Okay, so this is a bit of a surprise. I can play Grand Theft Auto V on this, but I can't play Fortnite. I suppose Fortnite needs Direct X 11. Huh. Should be say, said that there is a stick of RAM welded within the inside, welded, soldered to the inside, and there's one more stick that you can change. You get uh, the availability of side compartments and whatnot. Guess where? On the sides. So here we have our hard drive. Just, you know, pull the screw, pull it out, and then display, port, USB, Cat5, you know what I mean. Um, VGA, so it's interesting to get display in VGA. I don't think anyone ever uses this Firewire anymore, right? I'm kind of surprised it was even on here. Anyways, we have uh, availability to use one of those cards, I forget the name of it, PCMCIA, something like that. And uh, SD, oh my god, I didn't notice that before. So that's USB and uh, eSATA. Man, this thing had everything. I'm very impressed with this little system. And thank goodness for beautiful things like this. Oh, CD drive too, can't forget that, that's what everybody needs. Anyways, oh wait, you got another USB right back here. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech, but looks like I gotta be a father now and uh, give some hugs or something. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.